Next, this month's CCTV Roundup, starting with a frightening raid at a betting shop. It's opening time at a bookies in East London, and this punter thinks he's onto a sure winner. He follows the employee inside, giving us a good look at the tattoo on his neck. But he's not here to place a bet. He's got a knife in his right hand, which he threatens her with, demanding the cash from the till. Terrified, she walks into the office and hands over some notes. But it's not enough. He wants the loose change too. He then calmly walks out, giving us a clear shot of his face. Looks like his number's up. Name, please. Now, keep your eyes on the center of the screen. This dash cam captures a crowd of football fans in Birmingham last year. Through the car in front, you can see the victim walking along when he's suddenly punched from behind. As he falls to the floor, the attacker brutally stamps on his face before running off. It may only last a few seconds, but this attack left the victim needing metal plates in his face. Who is the unsporting thug responsible? This man in the high-vis jacket waiting at the side of the road in Croydon is a bus driver on his break. He's minding his own business when out of the blue another man comes up to him and headbutts him in the face. The driver tries to defend himself, but the man continues the attack. Police believe the same man was on the victim's bus route earlier that afternoon. He lost his temper when he stumbled as the bus pulled away. Can you help by naming this angry passenger? A wannabe magician walks into a bank in Warrington. But what happens next is no illusion. He hands over 700 pounds and asks for it to be changed into 20 pound notes. But as the cashier hands it over, our trickster sneaks a wad of the 20s into his left palm. Take a close look again. With the stolen money stashed in his hand, he returns what's left of the 20 pound notes, asking for his original 10 pound notes back instead. He puts the stolen cash into his pocket even wiping any fingerprints off the counter and leaves the bank with his original 700 pounds plus 460 pounds of stolen notes. If you recognize this cunning con man, you know what to do. Inside a hospital in central London, but this man isn't here for treatment. There's a security door so he waits for patients to leave before sneaking in. The cameras then pick him up waiting by a lift, but what he's really waiting for is the chance to help himself. Watch as he walks down the corridor empty-handed before reappearing, this time with a bag. It contained a laptop and a phone belonging to a patient who was in surgery. Do you know this low-life thief? Now, updates on previous cases, starting with news that detectives in Gloucestershire investigating the alleged murder of 32-year-old father of three, Sean James, have this morning made two arrests. Sean was found dead after being run over by a van in Cinderford in the Forest of Dean in December 2002. Police received new information following a crime watch reconstruction in December last year, but again are appealing tonight for anyone who hasn't yet spoken to officers to come forward. Detectives investigating the disappearance of Claudia Lawrence have released on police bail three men arrested yesterday on suspicion of her murder. Claudia, you'll remember, disappeared without a trace from her home in York in March 2009. Well, the arrested men are all in their 50s. They're all from the York area. The latest development follows the arrest of a local man in his 50s last month. He is also currently on police bail. 
A man who raped and robbed teenage girls at knife point has been jailed three decades on from our original appeal. In January 1985, we featured the case of three girls who'd been subjected to terrifying sexual assaults by a masked man in Berkhamsted. As a result of the appeal, local man Paul Drinkwater was questioned but released due insufficient evidence. A police review and developments in DNA testing led to 52-year-old Drinkwater being rearrested last month he was sentenced to 28 years for two rapes and 12 months for indecently assaulting the third victim. He was also given eight years for two counts of robbery. Justice finally served. In October last year, we showed you a pretty shocking CCTV of these men. They are robbing a disabled pensioner in her home in northwest London. Well, as a direct result of the Crime Watch appeal, three of the offenders were named and charged. They appeared in court in January and pleaded guilty to the robbery. 24-year-old David Morn, his brother, 21-year-old Patrick Morn, and 25-year-old uh, Jamie Butler. They were each sentenced to more than five years. And police would still like your help in naming the fourth suspect, so please do call the usual number if you know who this guy is. And finally, in our last program, you may remember this, we asked for your help after the heptathlete Kelly Southerton had a number of her prized medals stolen in a burglary at a home in Sutton Coalfield. Well, amazingly, the day after the appeal, a postman on his rounds struck gold when he found two of the medals, including her Commonwealth gold, dumped in a post box. Now, unfortunately, the burglar hasn't yet been caught. Some medals are still missing, but Kelly is delighted nevertheless. I do think from the Crime Watch appeal directly I got my medal returned. If it wasn't for that appeal, um, I wouldn't be here now with this round my neck. I'd still be searching and looking for my medal, so I'm very thankful I'm wearing this again.